Hello Taurus and welcome to the first half of your November reading. This is April from 33 and Above Tarot and I'm here to deliver you guidance and messages from Spirit. Please note that these messages are general and if any of the messages are called out to you, know they are your messages, okay? And also please check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Alright, let's get into it. What is going on? with Taurus, the first half of November. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, so, it definitely looks like someone's been left out in the cold. Someone's definitely feeling lonely. Someone's definitely feeling like they're in poor health. It's almost as if grief stricken them. They're wanting someone's attention. They feel, when they're with you, they feel so much more at home. It's, it's much more warm. It's like they don't feel lost when they're with you. You almost have like this motherly energy and, and if you're you know male it could go both ways it's like a a comfort a at home comfort and it looks like they would do anything to get your attention it, it's like if you called them or if you text them or if you did anything to alert them it's like oh my god like what do you want like like I, I'm here what you know like I, I'm at your service it's it is whatever you want because something happened where this person realizes your worth and your value I feel like you are walking away from this situation. I think you've had enough. I think you're tired of the greed. You're tired of losing money, losing energy, losing time. You know, sometimes misery loves company. And you're not about that. This person is realizing who you are. And it's like, they're like two, three steps behind you. They're not, you know, they're kind of like, you don't even realize they're there. You might be onto another path. Another path to prosperity, to happiness. To a happier home. Healthier workplace. I mean, it's just, that's where your, your attention is now. This person didn't realize how valuable your attention was until it was too late. And now the moment you decided to focus that valuable attention somewhere else, it's like that price of your attention just went up that much. And this person's like damn near begging you for your attention. 
because I'm sure you would give me much more than that. And the attention just didn't even feel like you were giving because you just wanted to do, you know, you wanted to be there for this person. And then once you took that away, it's like that is the least you could do. It's like they would take anything at this point. You're focused on your healing. And this person is dying to talk to you. You're sleeping much better now. Or you will be. It is much more warmer than where you are than where this person is now. Much more. Promise you. This person may have foot issues or you may have foot issues. Or you may do something with your feet, maybe for a career. That was random. Um, yeah, you, you have nothing to worry about. Okay, what else is next? <laughs> what is what's going on with Taurus? Oh, the Knight of Swords. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So this person is definitely willing to do anything to get your attention. They are one they are coming in strong if they come in, which I feel like they will because I feel like they're mustering up the energy and the the confidence to approach you. And it's like if they if they were to approach you, it would be like that as if it doesn't nothing happen probably or so confident as if nothing's wrong, you know, it's not that humble type of energy. It's like, you know, hey, you know, like that. I don't even know why I'm getting that um, Zach from Saved by the Bell. Like, totally, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Somebody must be watching Saved by the Bell right now. But it's like this person's not going to come in feel, looking weak or wanting you to view them as a weak person. They may come in a bit hasty too. I don't know. I don't know. But be be prepared for to hear anything. <laughs> yeah. Huh. This person, when they come to, back to you, they're definitely going to want to win your love. They're going to... It's like they don't want to hear no. Come on, spit it out. All right, we'll take these. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the moon. You might be dealing with a Pisces. We got the Ace of Swords in reverse. I'm sorry, the Two of Swords in reverse. And we have you showing up. Taurus, the hair font in reverse. Okay, I hope we can get all these on cam. Anyway. Anywho, so this person, when they come back to you, they're definitely not going to tell you everything. They are not going to tell you everything. I repeat, they are not going to tell you everything. They are going to hold back something. And I think you will already sense that. I think you will know that. You really do need to release this person, though. 
I think this person has too many secrets. I think there's a reason why you left this person. I think there's a reason why you left this person. You're tired of being vulnerable. You're tired of being generous. You're tired of being foolish. You're not just thinking with your heart now. Nope. No, no, no. You are now thinking with your head and your heart. This person is, this, this person just has too many secrets. Mm-mm. It's like, it's almost as if they want so much more than they are giving. It's like they expect you to give them everything and they're like, they're like, it's like they're the type of, per, I don't know if this is a relationship. Okay, so if this is a relationship, this is a, the type of person, like say, I'm just going to use it. If it was the, you know, the male energy saying to the female energy, you can't be with anybody else while we're together. And the female energy is like, okay, yeah, obviously we're in a relationship. But then the male energy still is hooking up with other female energies or other male energies or whatever. You know, it's like that person, can, you know, is trying to have their cake and eat it too. This is what this person is like. Trying to have their cake and eat it too. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. And Taurus, you know yourself. <laughs> you have self-esteem. You're very resourceful. And this person may see that in you, obviously. And it's like, oh, this per oh, Taurus. Taurus can do this, Taurus can do that, Taurus knows this, Taurus knows that, Taurus knows this person, that person, or been there. Like, Taurus, you got all the connects, or you've been many places, know many people, have a lot of experience, know a lot of information. I just got 12-12, so 12-12, that's confirmation. You know a lot. You have a lot. You're very resourceful. You're someone people want to know. We all, we need Taurus in our lives, you know, like, and this person may see this and may take too, too much advantage of this. And I, I hope you are aware of this too. Yeah, this person, mm -mm. let's get an advice card for this. Oh, the good tarot, the good tarot. But Taurus, you know what to do. You already know. <laughs> Trying to have their cake and eat it too. Oof. Can't stand people like that. What do you think this is, Burger King? Can't have it your way. <laughs> Three of air. See what this is. Bodies definitely want to, to talk to you. Okay. Silver linings, natural departures, rejection is God's protection. <laughs> A third party helped me to see the truth of this situation. What is truly mine can never be withheld from me. Rejection is spirit's protection. It's in my best interest to let go and allow for something better to take place. It is my highest good to see the truth regardless of my temporary discomfort. This too shall pass. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you see, this is all a part of the plan, okay? This is spirit. This is divinely connected. This is supposed to happen the way it is. I promise you, I hope 
you are able to see past the situation and just seek seek healing. Sorry, my dog is to seek healing. And because this is important for you, this is number one. If you are not feeling at your best, do what makes you happy, what makes you feel good. No matter how big or how small, how silly or how whatever, you just do whatever you need to do. Because I'm going to tell you, there's a there's so many beautiful things coming up for you. And I just feel it, Taurus. And I'm sure you already know that. <laughs> this person is trying to have their cake and eat it too. No, no, no. You are the cake, okay? You are the cake. Who this person think he is or she is? Mm -mm. No, thank you. <laughs> All right. Taurus, I hope these messages resonated with you. If they did, please hit the like button. Please comment and subscribe. And if you do already, thank you so much. Thank you for the support. I truly, truly appreciate it. I will talk to you later, guys. Have a great first half of the month. Bye.